Hi everybody, this is Sean Bryant. I just wanted to welcome you to my first art bomb. What I wanted to do with these art bombs is to create a series of videos and exercises that anyone can use, whether you're working digitally or analog, to really explore creativity and kind of get out of those first frustrating stages of uh, creating artwork where you don't really know how to get past that white page or white screen and you're struggling to come up with ideas. So for these first few videos, we're going to be looking at an ink blot, choosing a theme, and seeing how many different ideas that we can blast through. With this one, I've chosen a cartoony superhero, and I've really tried to stare at this and pull out the shapes and uh, think of what building blocks would create a superhero. Stuff like broad shoulders, uh, thick eyebrows, a cape, big muscles, uh, and I really tried to pull out the, the big shapes from the ink blot and not really worry too much about the details. When you pick your theme from the beginning, it makes it a lot easier to pull the shapes out of this uh, abstract ink blot because you're already thinking about the building blocks of what makes, uh, let's say, a cartoon superhero like this. So you're able to go through and say, okay, well, those flares on the bottom left me a cape, and up top it looks kind of square, and uh, that, that could be like his shoulders and that big white area in the center. That looks like uh, a collar. So it really gives you a, a starting point to go through and, and start pulling out those shapes. You really want to push yourself to create a strong silhouette so that your character will read if he's put together with other characters. You don't want him to have the same shape or the same look as another character. You can see this in some popular movies like Megamind. The two characters, Metro Man and Titan, they have very similar body shapes, but you can read immediately which one is which because of their silhouette. Metro Man has that big pompadour and a, a long cape that goes about to mid-calf. And then when you look at Titan, he has a shorter cape that goes to just about his waist and that large afro, which really sets him apart. And this is important because when you're doing something like an action scene, you get moving around so fast that all you get is that first read. And that's super important because you don't want to lose your audience because they can't tell which character is which. You definitely want the audience to stay engrossed in the story and not really worry about the design. What I'm doing now is separating the shapes even more and giving it a better read by throwing some tints down. Uh, I'm just using some brushes that I have created in Photoshop. Uh, I can throw those and uh, the ink blot that I've used here up on the blog. Another thing I wanted to touch on was using straights against curves and that's going to communicate movement and form. If you look at the arms on the inside, I've got that straight line coming down and that's communicating the direction and the movement of the arm. And on the other side, you see those curved flex muscles and that's communicating the form. This is going to create a sense of tension and appeal. You can see that the character is in a very, you know, stationary, not dynamic pose at all but he still is appealing and interesting to look at because of that contrast of straights against curves. Okay, so that about does it for me here. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'm going to be updating with more art bombs, and hopefully they'll uh, fuel your creativity. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Sean underscore Bryant. And check out the blog for more resources, Photoshop brushes, and tutorials. That's art-bomb.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.